So I was invited to Twitch Rivals to compete in a chess tournament. Now, um, my experience with chess is somewhat limited. I played a lot when I was a young child 20 years ago. And then I was invited to this tournament and I played like for five days before the tournament. It was more like four days, uh, the weekend before the tournament. And that's my entire experience with chess. And, and I, you know, I kind of thought it was gonna be like all like noobs like me, like, yeah, I don't know how to play chess. Let's go in the tournament and learn how to play chess with the grandmaster. And that was not the case. Uh, I was the lowest rated player in the entire field at 829. Uh, ratings got as high as the 1600s. So here's how it worked. Uh, you had teams of two, there was four teams total, and everyone was paired up with a grandmaster. Our grandmaster was a GM, Dan Naroditsky, and essentially you get to use them as a lifeline once per game. You get 30 seconds of them just like talking in your in, in your ear as much as possible. But otherwise you just, you play the game of chess, it's 10 minute timer plus five seconds for every move that you make. And uh, so everyone, all the low rated players played all the other low rated players. And then the high rated players played against each other. And then the team with the best two records went on to the finals. And the bottom two records played for a third and fourth. And that's, that's like the whole thing. That's the whole thing. And also, I didn't know this until we started, but if you won the whole thing, you got a year's supply of Doritos. So, I did get a little more motivated. Oh, hey, Dano. Hey, I'm just waiting. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Pleasure. Yeah, so you are you should be able to see my, my uh, screen share. Like right now, I got a random game up. Yeah. But basically, you'll see, you should see the engine eval. And are you comfortable with me saying uh, notation? Like, are you comfortable with me rattling off? Like, you should play knight b3 or something? Or do you prefer that I describe the move? No, no, no. I like. I would understand what that means. I wouldn't maybe understand why you were telling me to do it unless I just saw eighteen moves ahead. But if you said like right. knight b three, I would understand what that means. And I'll I'll do my best to like mix. Uh, you know, I'll I'll tell you the moves, but I'll also you know try to put the emphasis on like explanation and long term long term strategy okay. as much as I can. Yeah, uh, my concern is just probably not knowing when to chime in. Um, but I feel like I'll, I'll hit a certain point. Uh, so hopefully I can figure that out and not actually yeah, I mean, waste it. Anytime if you're like mortally concerned or on the flip side, if you feel like there is like there's checkmate, you're pretty confident when you don't quite see it, that would be a good time. Okay. Um, or if you feel like maybe you're winning a queen, for example, but you want verification, like any game, anything you feel like is a game changing moment, feel free to do it. Or if you feel like you're in big, big trouble, um, and you want like a last ditch attempt at saving the game that's you know another not gotcha. saying that that's gonna happen but yeah you know, in the unlikely event i think that's that's an interesting idea i mean we'll we'll see <laughs> i've been all right, scrambling so I'm, I'm, all weekend but no i i, I saw we'll see yeah, it goes. You've been putting in the putting in the work yeah so so the guy in voice chat right there is a is a grandmaster and once per game i get to ask them for help uh and i'm actually gonna mute the music now so for you guys it's gonna be painfully quiet painfully quiet um so what i suggest you do is turn on your own music um if you want to listen to what i'm listening to it is the tetris effect soundtrack 829 is my rank 829 is essentially the equivalent of a crumpled up ball of tin foil that's currently in your garbage can uh if grandmaster uh was like a diamond uh, fucking t wrapped in carbon fiber, covered in a titanium cover on top of that with like emeralds and rubies all around it. And I actually went down in rating. I started taking lessons on here. I signed up for the diamond, the diamond membership or whatever. And I started doing lessons over the weekend and I got worse. I was doing better before I started doing the lessons. I was not, my peak was like 900 something, 940. And then I started taking lessons and then I just fell off a cliff. But I feel like I also had a breakthrough. Like what I wanted to do was learn openers, right? Because I feel like at, at my level, the opener is everything. If you don't have a good opener or don't know how to counter someone else's opener, the game's just lost, completely lost. Um, so I spent a, a good amount of time trying to learn openers. So that way I could actually have a chance of uh, like having a decent opener. So at least I could get to the mid game. And then the mid game is where my game falls apart completely.
which is why I tend to go for the do it you won't approach as a as opposed to the uh, oh god I'm naked approach right. For me, I would much rather go do it you won't as opposed to uh, oh god I'm naked because with fewer pieces on the board I can track that a lot easier. But with so many pieces on the board, like my my brain just goes into overload. Um, but it was only until recently that I finally actually started putting a lot of these concepts together. Like when you take the lessons, it teaches you about like rooks and bishops and, you know, like here's how to pin and here's what like you should do in the end game and, and shit like that. Like all those individually in the lessons, like, yeah, fucking move here, go there. I got it. Like, I totally understand. But when you're, when I was in a game, I wasn't really applying any of those things. I was just kind of like fucking around until something happened. And most of the time that something happened happened to me um but then like a couple like a day ago i kind of had like a mental breakthrough of like oh you should really be paying attention to these strategies a lot more like pins absolute pins uh pigs on seven uh you know shit like that and ever since then i technically lost i i I won two games in a row and then I lost two games in a row. But the two games that I lost, I lost because of time. And I was up like plus five, no, plus seven and plus eight on those two games. So I had a bit of like a mental breakthrough, drink water. Um, so I'm hoping I can kind of rally that. But I'm also trying to keep in mind that I'm the lowest ranked player here. Or at least I'm pretty sure I'm the lowest ranked player. There's people who are 1600 in this tournament. Six, I've seen six, two 1600s, a 1300. So like, if I get a W, it's a miracle, and I'm fully prepared to let down my teammate as they win all of their games and I lose all of mine. Did not you know you played chess? Here's my secret. I f I fucking don't. <laughs> oh, I think we're getting started soon. Was there a skill range for this tournament? You know, I thought it was going to be around my level, like complete fucking noobs. Uh, it's not. It's not at all. And again, they had to rebalance the teams because of me. <sighs> all right, hang on. Let me just look at my... I'm just going to look at my fucking notes real quick here. Sorry. Three people are 1,600. Three people, 1,600. I'm gonna get fucking cheesed. That's my fear. Like, I just want to play actual games. I don't know who my first opponent is now. QT Cinderella. Okay. Here we go. Please no cheesy shit. Please don't cheese me. Don't cheese me, bro. Scandinavian? Alright, let's defend Pawn. Karo Khan, okay. Okay, are we gonna hit the do it you won't? I think we're gonna go do, do it you won't. I'll have a little bit more development. All right, do it you won't. Okay, I didn't. I'm worried about that opening my... Okay, they have a direct line here. I just wanna unpin my potential king. This is my problem. I take too long to take turns. I take way too long. Let's just develop a little bit more. Queen can't go that way. Can only go this way. Okay. I really want to push my bishop out to get... Um, castle. They have three... If They have four things attacking this one spot. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna double push them out of the way because I, I'm really afraid of that queen. But now they're gonna be attacking this pawn. So I think we're gonna push bishop out here, right? Because I'll have one, two, three to there, one, two. Queen's stuck, but what can we do about that? Okay. Um, let's go here because they don't really have a way to threaten my bishop right now as far as i can see and then i'm gonna castle can we turn on emote only turn that turn that shit back on turn it back on emote only we have to have emote only on chat here 
They can't really, they can't move this dude at all. Like this dude's stuck. So let's take the time to castle. They still have three, now they only have three things attacking this because the queen's, queen's blocked. <gasps> so, okay. Um, let's see, if we move up, take, take, and then we just kind of have free reign of this lane. If we take, they take, and now their rook is free for this lane right here. So I think we're gonna just push up. I have one, two, three things attacking this. Um, let's see, here takes, let's clear that. Here takes, takes, takes. That's a bad proposition for us. Here takes, 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 takes. That's even trade. Okay, did I fuck up? No, I think we're good. Really wanna find a way to get my queen involved here, or at least take theirs. If they take, we take, and we just stall out there. We threaten this, but not with this here. But we also have, I mean, besides this, we have no other protection. I really wanna get my rooks in here as well. That means I have to move this, okay. They're coming for a fork or something. Come here, challenge this. They just get the hell out of dodge. Why are they coming over here? What are they threatening? They could take my bishop. So they forked my, my pawn and my bishop, but I do have to move my bishop. But I wanted to do that anyway. Let's see, queen's blocked in. If queen comes down, they come in and take. Okay, so they're going for a queen, queen down here move. So I'm going to, I wanna give myself some space. Oh, but there, it's blocked over here. Okay, so we're, we're okay. Um, what if we do, what if we threaten their queen just for a sec? Cause if we push the pawn down, if we push this down, they're blocked, I can retreat. And now they don't have this threat of attack. Okay, 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 okay. Holy shit, okay. This guy is now fucked. All right, so I think we just have to trade here, which is fine. All right, I'm fine with taking a trade. Let's trade. Still have queen here. I wanted to move this guy over. Could take with queen, then this guy's in trouble. I might call for a hint here. I just want to be even on time. That's my thing. This bishop's also pretty stuck, which is like not the worst for us. Okay, but if they come down, now they still have this opportunity to do this. So how do we stop that? I think we go here. Because even if queen tries to take, we just take. If we go here, we threaten this. They come here. Uh, they would have to move the pawn up. Okay, they went backwards. I think they're trying to pin my uh, uh, bishop in here. Let's see if they go for the do it, you won't. And I say unto thee, do it, you won't. There's a mate in here somewhere, dude. Because this bishop's blocking. Like, I can have numbers. Okay, trying to get me to go over here. Um, what does that get me? I wanna push this rook over. Actually, I, I see what they're trying to do. Come here, threaten this. So we can protect with this, but we're still protected with our knight. And I say unto thee, do it, you won't. I think I'm gonna ask for help here. And I say unto thee, by royal decree, do it, you won't. Didn't do it. Okay. So, they're trying to make something happen over here. Can't move this, it's pinned. I think we go here. Uh oh, rookie one is a blunder. Oh no, no, he blunders the, oh, he blunders everything. No, takes the queen and takes the takes the knight. Wins. Uh, oh, KT misses it too. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, I don't even know what I can do now. I mean, I guess you can go rookie three and protect everything. He has. He should probably call me right now. Yeah, this is very dicey. He takes the queen, and the crucial move afterward is going to be rookie three to defend. To defend the knight on c3. 
Now, rookie three is crucial for Dado. I would take the call if I were him right now. There it is. He finds it. He finds it on his own. Kind of shenanigans are going on here. Hmm. I did it. I was the one that did it. Why? Just make this game move a little bit faster. <laughs> oh my god, are you joking me? I mean, we're we're just kind of stuck right now, so I want to move us along here. Oh, can't move that. Let us protect. Dado's in the call. Hello. Hey. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is, you see my arrow, get this knight into the center, knight e5. Okay, uh, hang on. Yeah, watch the stream. Knights, you take back with a rook. Hang on. It says it's trying to get the stream back open. Okay, they just move rook. So I, move. I, take, okay, take, yeah. And then take the pawn on a4. Okay. Take the rook on e8 and take the pawn on a4. Then attack QT's bishop with h3. H3. So take the okay. pawn, take the pawn on a4. No, take take the pawn on a4. A4. Yes. Now you're hitting the pawn on c5. If right. she doesn't defend it, take it. If she does, hit the other bishop with h3. Get your rook into the game. Got it. And then get your knight out of the corner. Got it. Okay. Uh, I think that's a take, right? That's a take. That's a take. That is omega a take. She declared unto me, do what you won't. And thus I did. The royal decree doth declare. How long has this pawn been unprotected? <laughs> All right, they want me to get my rook into the game. What is this bishop doing? Um, I want to protect my pawn. Do I really care about it though? That much? Yeah, I kind of do. Okay. They're blocking E. I can't really go here. I can't go here. I'm trying to get this guy into the game. Uh, we can go here. Okay. Um, that's a yoink. Every time something like that happens, all I can think is... How am I about to get effing schooled right here, dude? Okay, the moment we move... So let's do this. Force this bishop away. Unfortunately, they're blocking this rank right here. Okay, now they're not. Um, we we threaten it again. It's got to really back up. I really want to get my rook into play. All right, I think we just go with this. I'm trying to look for potential moves where... It's like coming in here and then this comes down or some shit. I mean, what's the worst case if they get this pawn? I can protect with that. Unfree, yeah, I gotta do that. This has gotta come here, then Rook moves out. Probably about here, go up here. Okay, now we're unpinned. Current plan. Can't go there. Could go there. Attack this. Oh my god, I'm actually going to be ahead on time. I think they're getting a hint. Okay, they're not. Um, I'm okay with them taking. If we actually go... I think he's gonna move the knight though, because the way that, oftentimes the way that beginners think is they they spot the threat and then sometimes they don't see the bigger picture. He does see the bigger picture and takes the bishop, that's fine. Perfect. No, this guy has good instincts. Dado, Dado is a, is a uh, underrated player. I like what I see. King cannot take. Uh, is there a better move? 
King can't take. Because they are pinned. Um, uh, yo. Oh shit, I think I've made. Can't go here. Oh, they can go here. Fuck. All right, well, I'm just going to yoink this then. And that's going to be checkmate. Oh my god, we won a game. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Just one game. I just wanted to win one game, dude. I just wanted to win one game. I just wanted to win one game. That's it. I'm happy. I'm happy. We won one game. We won one game. That's all I wanted. I just wanted one. All right. I just wanted one. All right, good job. I just wanted one. Good job. You're going to get two, and then three, and then you're going to win. You're going to win. You're going to win. You're going to win. You did good. That was good. You did okay, smart. Okay, 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 okay. I told you, you're good under pressure, bitch. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'll let the game review it. 86.7% accuracy. Wow, they had me at, at one point. What was this? Oh, a huge blunder here. What was... What's the line? Take queen. There. They take that. Yeah. I had no, uh, I had no plan for that. Okay, we had good moves here. There's only one good move. Okay, only one good move here, and we found it. I don't know why this is a good move. I guess it's to protect this. Um, this is a great move, hard to find. We yoink, trade material. Only one good move, and then normal from there on out. So we had one. One mistake and one blunder. Missed an opportunity to kick a piece. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes it's just like the decision between deciding to kick and deciding to just trade. I just never know, like, when, which is better. And what was the turning point? Um, recaptures. And then... This gives away free material, and then, yeah, the game was just like, all right, you have this in the bag. And then it seems like... Yee! And then it seems like everyone... Yeah, that was that was the, the game sealer right there. And then just normal from there on out. Okay. Uh, Myth, I think... Oh, shit, hang on. That hit in the middle was just like... That hit in the middle literally felt like... I was watching the game back, and the game's like, you blundered the next six moves. You should have done this. But it was happening in real time. <laughs> that was with, I, like, I wasn't able to get his stream up, so he was just like, and he cut out in the middle of it, too. I know, I was listening. I'm I was like, just like, <gasps> where am I moving the, where am I moving the night? Where am I moving the night? Yeah. Where am I moving the night? <laughs> He's like, and then do this. You're like, but what's before that? Yeah, but I, I kind of I kind of vibed it. But then the bishop got thrown away, and then the rook got thrown away, and then it was just kind of over from there. But up until that point, like, I that was like a 50-50 game. So GG's. Just a trumper. Just a tubble. Good game. Just a schmusho. That was a good game, Dad. I'm so proud of you. Just a schmusho. I'm so proud of you. I think you're the cutest and the best. You're the best dad in the whole world. I love you. <sighs> Bam! Just a doggy. Just a doggy. My all cute. How was your game? Was it close or? Um, so I played the King's Indian. I don't know the theory super well for King's Indian, but okay. what if I that was literally means losing. nothing to me? Okay, so I was no playing black. I was okay. playing black, and um, basically you fianchetto the bishop. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if you know. No, nope, you get the bishop out early, basically. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and 
And uh, white usually plays like a strong king side attack with the pawns. So okay. I definitely was a little bit underdeveloped in the middle game. And I think I was losing for sure at some point, but my opponent made some blunders. So we pulled through, we pulled through in the end. Okay. I just, I think what helped was starting to use like the right click to like say uh -huh. like, all right, this is going to go here. This goes here. This goes here. Um, yep. Cause that just kind of cuts down on like the mental, uh, like, you know, yeah, think calculation. Of, like, okay, where would these pieces be if we move them? Like I can just pop up the arrows and, yeah, that's a it's lot a lot of calculation of when you're when you're handling so many different lines. So the arrows just make it so much easier because you can. It helps you just mentally visualize what's happening yeah. on the board. The only way it could be better if it, is if I could literally draw on the board like with a marker <laughs> or something like that, and then just like well, uh, just erase <laughs> it after like I feel like it. Like I'm playing in paint. <laughs> now I just imagine you at a real tournament over the board, and you just whip out your sharpie and you're just writing on the board. Just people have like like uh, effing oh my god an easel. Yeah. Just like painting their effing thing. <laughs> like if chess boxing can be a thing, I feel like chess painting can be a thing. Definitely. Although painting's not really competitive. Mm. I mean, it could be. Maybe. If you wanted it to be. Okay, next game. What's up, Rob? I'll let you guys know now, chat. This is not getting any easier. I'm only playing like way harder opponents from here on out. So that W is probably... That's the only one I think we're going to get today. But you know what? That's okay. Because everyone else is way better than me. Okay. Huh? Not to diminish your very, very wonderful win. But Cutie is su suffering from the effects of a concussion. <laughs> oh my god. I, I beat a concussed lady. <laughs> but she did great. No, she did really good. No, you did great. She played like she didn't have a concussion at all. I know, I just was, like, I went into her chat just to just to see how she was doing, and, like, they were recapping the game afterwards, and uh, and she's like, so I'm, trying, I'm sorry, chat, I can't look at you for very long. It starts to give me a headache. And I was like, oh, I wonder what happened. And somebody, and then somebody said, exclamation point, concussion. <laughs> I was like, oh. It's the only way I can win, is no. if someone is concussed <laughs> and they can't think straight. No, no, no. But her teammate also lost, so, and they weren't concussed, so your, your team's okay. doing good. All right, eight thirty-two. Okay, so we're it's kind of even. Okay, it's it's more even. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I gotta go. You got it. All right, little Italiano Parmigiano. No. They're gonna do some queen shit. This is what I'm looking out for. I guess queen covers this anyway, but they still came out here. I feel like I'm going to vomit. <laughs> so nervous. Why? <laughs> so nervous. You're fine. You got a queen under your belt. That's all that matters. I want to do good for my teammate who's way smarter than I am. So what? I don't want to let them down. I got a dub. I didn't let them down. Um, she's not smarter. She's more experienced. Well, she's smarter. Exactly. Let's okay. let's let's be real. She's smarter than me. Um, I'll mirror. Mirror. Okay. Okay. So we gotta be careful here because they have two attacks. I only have one. To use a lifeline if they feel that they're desperate or off on the ooh bishop g4 and then you have to find knight bd2 okay so this is very bad because he has to see this move and i feel like he might have to use his lifeline already which is not the end of the world but it's very important that he finds this move i i think he has to swallow his pride here and just make sure that he doesn't lose this game in two seconds i mean i think he's very capable of finding nbd2 but this is, yeah, no, this is very, very, oh, yeah, there we go. Very good. I like that he uh, took his time and he recognized the danger and he found it. Very good. He, he found several only moves in the last game too. So he, I, I, I think he sees the, the basic stuff pretty 
consistently. So I think we go here to protect. If he goes here, that does prevent a castle. And I'm pretty locked up. All right, you always want to make sure if they got two versus only your one, all right, I think we're going to boot this guy out. He's got to back way the F up if he wants to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Remember, chat, if you're not wanting to listen to the painful uh, silence of life, oh, you want to trade Bish? You trying to trade Bish? Right here? 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 You trying to trade Bish? What's up? I'll trade Bish. Okay. If we take this, Bishop has these, these sight lines right here. Here is covered by here. This is covered as well. And we can open up the D file a little bit. I feel like that just wins a pawn. I probably should have done, I probably should have done knight. I actually don't mind having my king in the middle here because it's not really a good way for them to get to the middle. Okay, interesting. Um, they're kind of pinned in there as well. They might chase this pawn, in which case I will hit them with the Quinn. Any undefended pieces? What's undefended right now? This is undefended. Is there any way that we can get up here to take this piece? All right, we're looking for undefended stuff. And right now, there's not really a way of getting up there. We'd have to get here. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to threaten Bish and open up the lane for my for my Bish. Okay, now Knight B3 is important. They could D Lobster for the tier one. Knight B3, man. What a queen e2 and knight b3, and now he's going to get his bishop out to g5. I'm feeling very con. Oh, d5. Not a good move. If you just take and then go bishop g5, take cd, bishop g5. But it seems like they're playing pretty defensive. Okay. Take, 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 take. They're in a better position. If they take, I take. That's it. Why don't we threaten the queen? Oh Jesus Christ! I thought it was I thought it was for real pinned in there. It's not though, but it's it's close. I wonder if we could scare him. I thought it was it was a fucking yeah. Never mind. All right, let's uh let's scare him. We're seeing the knight back. Bishop g five. Man, sees the best move. Okay, this is good stuff. Okay, so I thought it was gonna happen. I want to really bring my rooks into play, but I don't think I want to castle just yet. Pawn is now. Uh, pinned. Uh, actually, they can get this pawn for free, right? So if I go here, take. Or if they take, I go here. They take, I take. Okay. I might ask for a hint here. Okay. They went with it. Let's see how this plays out. They only have one attacker on it, right? I think here, I'm gonna move here, here to, pro to, no, I can't, do, I can't do that, I'm fucking dumb. Let's push pawn, get him the F out of here. Now I can move up. We really want queen to stay on white, but I'm gonna wait for them to take a turn. I'm gonna take a turn and then I'm gonna ask for a hint. Okay, just let that clock tick away. Oh, wait. Oh, they're, wait. Oh, okay, they, they just got a hint. Okay, they just got a hint. So I want to counter hint. I want to, want to counter hint their hint with my own hint. Okay. Uh, I feel like they're going to try to go on the aggressive aggression right now. So I think I just kind of want to stop it in its tracks. Okay, actually hint me. Hint me right now. Hey. Hello. Okay, so here's what you want to do. You want to take the bishop with your pawn. Okay. Okay, now listen carefully. If the queen takes the knight, then you take the knight with your pawn, you trade queens, and you're up a piece in the end game. If he okay. takes with his knight, you take his knight with your bishop, he takes back, you take the pawn with your knight, you're attacking the queen, and if the queen moves away, then you take his knight, okay? If the queen doesn't move away, you take it. 
Then you're threatening to take on C6 with check. Make sure that you cast along, get your rooks in the game, and go for checkmate. Don't blunder your queen. Okay? Oh, I, that was a lot. I'll... So take, yeah. Okay, so that was a lot. Let's see if you can remember it. Take the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody clip that. Somebody clip that. Donya goes, that was a lot. We'll see if you can remember it. And Dotto literally uh, throws up his hands. Like, right. are you right. even kidding me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, that was a lot. I'll try. <laughs> what is... What's the IKEA instruction manual? Okay, if he takes with, qu I mean, obviously if he would take with queen. Okay, so he said, take this, right? Take that. So he's gonna take, he said castle long, which I assume is this side. We could also take this pawn. I think he said take pawn for free. Some waffle fries. I think that's what he said. And that makes sure that saves this pawn. Bishop is undefended, but it can take care of itself. It's a big boy. Castle long. This queen is the only thing saving this dude right now. The moment the queen moves, I feel like this is ripe. He said, don't blunder the queen. Whatever I do, don't blunder the queen. This feels like a free piece. And I'm protecting everything. Right? You can only go here. I think here, here, he stopped. Here, it's protected, protected. Even from here, protect, protect. Go here. Okay, now we got a castle long. I really feel like if he if he just pushes the queen somewhere else, we can we can mate with kiss of death, right? Because all I gotta do, okay, so he automatically, he just, he just stopped it from happening. Okay, I can't castle that side. And I'm nervous about whatever rook shenanigans are about to happen. So I want to bring my rooks into the game. Maybe I do castle. God, my king's just all alone, though. I want to get into a situation where I can protect the queen. Because this is pinned right now. It's a relative pin, which means I could move it. It's just not a very good idea. Okay, I'm not sure what that really does for him. I just really want him to move that queen. But unfortunately, pretty much anywhere where my knight would go. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, here. No, no never mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, now I can do it. Okay. Um, I think we just take, take, right? I think we, uh, we're running out of time. We just got to take. Okay. Let's scoot back a step. The problem is that we're not watching this pawn now, but we could do it over here and we would get a check. If he moves here, oh my God. Oh, <gasps> yes. That's a blunder. He can't protect. Check. And now he has to move out of this rank. I can get this other rook. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Okay, we have to move our queen though. Have to move the queen. Have to move it. What if we go here? I really want to get my other rooks in here. Okay, and we're still protecting the queen. Double protect. Okay. Let's go. If we go here, it's. Oh, fuck. Okay, what if we go here? If we go here, queen can't take. I was trying to keep pressure on this queen. Because now the queen can't move. I wanted to get my rooks stacked so I can attack. God, they have so much more time than me, though. I'm going to hate. I'm going to fucking lose the time. I'll be really upset. Oh, shit. I think I just had an opportunity. I missed it. Here. Yeah, fuck. Okay. Okay, you're not crossing over. My opportunity, I think, was here. Check. Well, they just would have moved away. Is trading queens at this point a blunder? What if we do, if he doesn't move anything? Here, check. Has to take with this. Here, check. Has to take this. Rook comes up. Can't take. 
and we push for an end game. God, is that a bad idea though? I don't know. I, I it's it's a plan. I don't have any other plan right now, because otherwise we could just fuck around all day with the pieces. I think we take or check. Oh, has to move. Has to move away. No, he doesn't. Wait, I might have just had a breakthrough. He can move down. Yes. Come on, rook d6. Just end the game. Okay, he's just like thinking knight g4 check. Yeah, perfectly good enough. And he wins the queen. You could have done that 15 moves ago, but this is uh, better late than ever. Beautiful. Beautiful technique. Okay, so it, it looks like we're going to go 1-1 one, one in this match. Very uh, respectable. <laughs> he takes back. Okay, like, just check anywhere and it's going to be mate. Now I just have to win. He can't go anywhere in here. He can't, he has to just move back. I don't have a way of pushing him back yet, but he has to, he just has to stay in this lane. Fuck. I struggle here, I struggle. Got all these fucking pawns in the way. Oh, shit. Think here. Check. He has to go this way. I literally have him in the corner with, with two rooks and a queen that still can't fucking finish. Why am I so bad at this? That's, this has to be mate. Yes. No! Let's go, dude! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Yeah! 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 <sighs> Please don't. I don't have champagne, so I'm just going to throw this water in your face, okay? Oh, my God. Let's go, dude! Okay, I have to end the voice chat with, with Coach. Okay, okay. Hey, coach. Hey, uh, uh, congrats. That was awesome. Hey. Okay, so I just want to uh, quickly go over both of your games, highlight some important points. And, and Dado, this goes for you too. Don't, don't worry about making a move or ruling out a move just because it's a retreating move. Um, so you're opening, I mean, you could take the pawn here, but okay. I figured you were sort of following your, your opening routine. Well, um, my main concern was like, Anytime someone exposes that, that queen early and like has that mm -hmm. bishop out, I was like, some some queen crap is gonna happen and I don't know what it is right. and I'm scared. So th that that queen crap is usually just like, the, the fear is the mate on F2, right? This is right. like what you're scared of. And a great way to defend against that mate is to intercept one of these two pieces. In this case, you can push the pawn out to D4 and just intercept the bishop. And okay. you're never gonna have to deal with these issues again. The other thing to say is like in this position, a good idea would have been to Fianchetto the bishop go bishop g2 just to support the knight. A phrase that I just because... learned today. Okay. Oh, excellent. I, I literally yeah, had no so... idea what that was until today. When you played this move g3, I thought you were sort of preparing that. And and then when you played bishop c4, this leaves the knight just a little bit a little bit loose, but you played great to defend. This was a key move. Yeah. And you completely outplayed him. I mean, you took here. You could have taken with the knight here because your queen guards your other knight. Mm-hmm. And always remember, like, if there is a piece that you're worried about, right, you're worried about the queen of the bishop, you have two options on your hands. You can chase the queen away. You can push this pawn up to g5. Your second option is to trade off a piece that bothers you. So how can you trade this bishop off on c5 on your next move? 
Uh, I mean, we could push uh, Bishop E3. Exactly. And threaten it. And that would neutralize any threats related to the F2 plan. So don't hesitate to trade pieces that kind of concern you, even the queen. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I know you said like, don't blunder the queen, but it got to a point where I was like, is trading queens a blunder if it means I can move forward with the game instead of just, you know, screwing around with, with our pieces? Not at all. I mean, if you're up a, b a bunch of pieces, trading is like basically the most legitimate path forward. But in this position, okay. just one thing to notice, like your queen is pinned, but a check supersedes a pin. So this knight can actually move. Where can it go? Um, It could go. Uh, let's see here. Um, Goes here to fork. I mean, the yep. queen just, oh, you can go here. Yeah. And it's a check, and the queen guards the knight. And if the king moves, it's very important not to take the rook. First you take the queen, then you take the rook, and you're up a full rook. Right. Okay. And then the last thing I'll say, you had some chances, like you could have taken on c6 here. So even if your queen is hanging, remember that a check, like a check has to be responded to. And, you mm -hmm. know, always watch for these kinds of x-rays against your opponent's king. Great technique here. The last thing I'll say is that on these types of positions, the easiest way to checkmate is to just go into ladder motion. Like rook e6 then get the other rook here. Then yeah. you want to get the rook, and, and then what's the mate? Uh, it's not pushing the rook forward. It's um, F and... <laughs> Julie, do you see it? Oh, the mate? Um... What's the most efficient? Oh, queen g7. Queen g7. Oh yeah. yeah. But Dado, if you want it, if you want to play rook e8, what you would want to do here is push the king away. So go queen f5, push the king aside, and then you can do the ladder. Right. Way. Um. So so don't you know just sometimes just giving the direct checks in these positions are is the easiest way to mate. Other than that, yeah. I thought this is a great game. So nice. just things to remember for both of you. Yeah. Watch for hanging pieces. Watch for pins. Anytime there's alignment of one of your pieces and your opponent's king. You're starting to look for tactics. Can I expose that piece? Anytime the queen and the king are aligned in a file, uh, you're looking for ways to pin that with your rook. Uh, you're always looking for knight forks. Uh, anytime like the queen and the king are up a knight's distance apart, uh, try to find ways to set traps that involve threatening knight forks. That kind of stuff can just win you the game outright. Otherwise, I think you're both doing great. I was really happy with th finding this move. This, this to me was like a big brain effing moment to realize that this dude was in trouble and if i didn't move here uh this would have been a game losing a game losing thing hence it's saying there was only one good move here and you found it um because like I've, I've been trying to monitor attackers now that's something I'm, I'm really trying to keep track of is amount of pieces attacking a spot because if they have more pieces attacking than you then they're just gonna take that piece, right? So if, let's say I don't move it here, and then back up. They move here, we have queen, bishop, threatening, right? If I do nothing to protect this, all they're gonna do is just come straight down, and now I'm forked, and I'm fucked. So, um, like, sure, Bishop comes here, I take with queen, but then they just get a queen and the game's over, right? I, I pretty much resign right there. Um, so realizing I have this move makes it so the fork doesn't happen anymore, right? They take, I take, they take, I take. Now I'm up a queen. So we take here, we're threatening bishop. Bishop has to move, we chase it away. And then here's where I got the hint. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, 30 seconds behind. All good. Little Taliano Parmigiano. Coming up here. As a reminder, chat, we are... Let's, oh, shit. Hang on. I gotta fix this. Okay, never mind. Uh, Scotch game. Okay, uh, let me fix this. Um, I think the rule is take. I 
that's good enough. Um, and then we develop Bish. This Bish, this Bish, diagonal. All right, they were talking about Panchetta, my bishop, or whatever. Let's just develop. I'm gonna Panchetta, my bishop. I'm gonna Fortissimo, my bishop. I'm gonna Fettuccini, my bishop. I'm gonna Feng Shui, my bishop. I don't remember what the, I honestly don't remember what the word was. Flanchetto, something like that. I do see that a lot. Like, I feel like the, the, I feel like the feng shui bishop is like a strat, like an, an omega strat. Um, right now I think we're at a castle though. And we do need to get our bish out. Although they're really commanding this white. So I don't really know where it would go. It's kind of, it's almost like too late. I mean, we could put it right here, I guess. Okay. I probably should have moved in because now this dude's stuck over here. And I think I'm gonna trade to open this lane up a little bit. This guy's unprotected right now. How do we get over there? Uh, this bishop's just stuck. Um, so I think we're going to open up the lane here. I don't really know what this gets him. He's just jammed in here unless the pawn moves forward. Which it could do. Because it would threaten this. I'd have to back it up. The back up that dumpy. You think chess grandmasters are using phrases like I'm going to have to back up this knight's dumpy in case they threaten me. Probably not, right? Oh, boy. They're asking for a hint. Depends on the age. All right. Well, if they were, like, 17, probably. 71? I don't think a 71-year-old uh, knows what a dumpy is, if I'm being real with you. I think my next move is knight e5. So that we we can bounce in here, just really lock some shit down. Feel me? And we can protect with Bish, C, uh, e6. Just really like clog it up. Oh. Okay. A little trade Z. I think they're trying to get this queen into the action. And that ruins my plan of going over there. So, um, I think I want to develop Bish. Damn it, I should have Francesca'd my fucking bishop. God damn it. I just said I was going to do it. Oh, what are we doing here, sir? Taking really doesn't do anything because now this guy's in trouble. Right? He's got nowhere to go. So if he wants to take, he can he can have him take because I'll just take back. Or I could even take with, with queen here. Could also sneak in. I don't know why he would, but he could. Oh, and maybe challenge the rook. All right, for now we're gonna do immediate threats. What if, no. All right, well, let's, let's keep our dude safe here. I know we have pawn as well, but I'd rather develop the queen. If there's one thing I've seen about a lot of games that I've lost, it's that the the opposing player I feel like rarely moves these three. I want to move them like all the time, but I feel like nobody moves these. Maybe you have a this, or maybe you have a that, or maybe you have a this. That's it. Okay, we have two challengers now. 
All right, if we go here, what do we got? Takes, fuck, takes, 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 takes. So I have one, two, three, uh, just three. Three attackers, they have three attackers, but they have to go first, right? Here, down upon, even, down upon, up a bish. I think their, yeah, their, their pieces are worth way more. So I think we challenge. Plus that queen's effing stuck back there. What's he gonna do? Okay. He's thinking now. Yeah, d5 is so, so strong here. He plays it, oh my gosh. What a monster, finding d5. <laughs> Incredible. Now, see, now I could have threatened this as well. Doesn't really do a lot for me, unless I move queen back, where I can move rook up. Rooks are not in a bad position at all. Control the center of the board. I think he already uses hint too, so. And we're up on time, that's good. Interesting. Okay, now we're gonna threaten the queen, right? Here takes, you're threatened. This is also threatened. So they'd have to come up with something pretty wicked, I think, to stop it. And I mean, I'll lose a bish, but bishes ain't shit, feel me? I'm feeling the most clever I've ever felt in my entire life, probably. All right, we're gonna threaten the bishop. Has to go here to save it, or here, but you can't go there. Could go here to save it, that works too. Castling, okay. That'll do it as well. But I think we're gonna now threaten horsey, um, or take, take, take. Get this bishop out of here. Let's, yeah, let's do it. See, this is where I wish I had my fucking panchetted effing bishop over here now. This pawn is really effing him because the bishop has nothing. Should be attacking this right now. It's just chilling. And I could even potentially like push up my pawn. He, I mean, he would take um, or take. And we we you know trade all this sh shit right here. I might just go for hint right now. Ooh, okay, okay. I see you. I see you. What if I? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I might have gotten myself into trouble here. What if we hit him with the do it? You won't. I don't think we will. I think we're to save him. I'm a hint. No, no, no. Is She's there... already gone for a different line. Right, D4, good. Very good. Coach, you got anything for me? Hi. Right. Yes. Um, so what you want to do is go F5. Move your F pawn to defend okay. the knight. Okay. Then you want to centralize your queen. Get your queen to E5. You're going to be hitting the pawn on C3 with the queen. You're going to be hitting the pawn on H2. One plan is move your king aside when you get a chance, just to escape the checks, and then double your rooks on the d-file. So queen e5 next. If he takes the knight, you take back with a pawn. Then get your one rook to d7 and the other rook to d8, and go along the d-file. Watch these hanging pawns. Move your king to the corner when you've got a chance, and don't blunder your... And don't blunder. No blunder. Check. Okay, well, I mean... He wanted me to do that at some point, right? So. All right. We have hit the moment of do it. You won't. I actually don't want him to do it. He did it. Because now he's going to take this. Actually, he's not lol pawn. See, I'm so, God, dude, I'm so glad that this was the strat. This was the play right here. That's the play I wanted to make, but I just wanted to be sure. Unfortunately, we have a couple of moves that we need to make in order to get, uh, in order to get back to uh, to here. 
All right, we got to go here and then here. I'm so glad he has not moved this pawn. If he does, I have to move Rook. He is going to get this for free, but then it's just stuck. Could also challenge, but, like, what does that get me? He just moves it here and, you know, nothing happens. There it is. No, can't do that. I'm going to have to do a little dance in here. I go up in here and then here and then here, and it's a whole effing thing. Just got to be very careful of this. Whoops. This and this. Can't land anything there. We're a plus seven. Is that what that is? Queen's that much? Damn. All right. He's got four. I have one, two, three, four as well, but all right, queen. Um, okay, interesting. What if we threaten check? Does that really get us anything? All right, we go here, threatens check. He just moves away. Um, we still have this situation right here, but at least we buy some time. We could also check here, could go there. Let's get our queen out of trouble and check at the same time. Actually, let's see. I don't think he'll he'll block it with this, but at least this is a bit more aggressively positioned. Like this would be stupid. So he's gonna go here or here. If he goes here, that's actually a huge dub. I don't think he will though. If he does, good night. Damn. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get him. The F out of dodge. Can't go here. Here, here. My rook is just so effed right now. If he moves his rook, then then we'll be in good shape because we'll go back to controlling D lane. But I think now that I like I could do something like this and push it away. Although I guess it would just come here, and now I'm, this is threatened. Uh. But we do have protection here, and here. You ever just prosciutto your bishop, dude? Check. Fork. I mean, you can have that, but... Queen F2 is mate. He's literally thinking in a position where there's mate in one. Let's make sure that he doesn't botch this. Queen F2, come on. One square. Queen F2, please find it. This is literally a one square checkmate. Yeah, he plays amazing, but that these mates in one are just crazy. This is the reverse of what I would like. I mean, if we're going to go after anything, we should go after the, the, the thick boys. How do we win from here, dude? It's just... Mm. All right, here. Can't take bishop. Oh, but, okay, this could take. Don't do that. Just need to move, like, here or something. <laughs> and just win, I think. Okay. Okay, okay, I see you. Can't go there. Can't go there. Just yoink this. Oh, wait a minute. I'll take that. This is not mate. Wait. Yeah, no, it's not. He's too focused on my pawns. So we're going to go pigs on seventh. This should be mate. Can't go here, 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 here. Can't take. 
Kiss of death. Mate. Brim. Sorry to scare you, bud. Yeah. Knocking him down. Let's fucking go, dude. You're gonna take no time either way. What happens now? Amazing. Oh my we god. Get the this end is... game. You both played incredibly. Oh, <sighs> That was and really Julie, the way you turned fun. around, <laughs> the way you turned that around and won that pawn end game was just crazy. I mean, you were on the cusp, down on time, and you did everything right in that pawn end game. <laughs> it, well, once you blockaded the pawn, it was over. Dada, you were a freaking beast. Um, nice. Great opening play. Great opening. I really have no criticisms in the opening. Let's um, go. The, if, I, if I were to nitpick, I would say maybe d5 earlier, just open up the center. You correctly identified that this is a really weakening move. Now white can't castle. And you opened up the center. I, I assume that's what you were like. That's how you were 100%, thinking. Hundred percent, totally. Didn't want him to castle. Yeah, d got it. <laughs> and now it's just totally crashing. Yeah, no, completely. And uh, you did everything perfectly here. Um, this was great. The one thing that I, that was um, giving me a heart attack is the fact that you had like made in one here. With uh, yeah. Queen okay. I just, I'm so nervous about like accidentally putting it somewhere and it's like, oh, yep, you just took my stuff. But, oh, okay. Oh, because of the so rook easy... all the way down there. Oh, right. The so, rook. Okay. so, easy fix for that is like when you have extra pieces, right? Look at what the rook is cutting off. Like, right. if the rook is on an open file, there's nothing that your opponent has that's on that file. Okay, that rook, even if it's from a distance, is, is cutting the king off. Yeah. In terms of like worrying about blundering your queen, just like if your opponent is a lone king, like, the ch go down the checklist. Are there any pieces in the distance that are guarding the square you want to put your queen to? Like here, there are no heavy pieces at all. So mm -hmm. clearly there's no rooks or queens that could jump jump out. Is the king, can the king take the queen? Well, the answer is no, because you're defending the queen, right. right? You just go through that checklist and then you're absolutely confident that there's no, no blunder. Don't worry about putting your queen close to your opponent's king. That's often the only way to actually checkmate. Right. Um, and the way that you played is totally fine. You took the pawn. And then you basically promoted your kingside pawns. When in doubt, just promoting more pawns often helps if you're like kind yeah. of confused or lost. I know he, he was Other running out that, of time too, done. and I think he was just looking for play. So he's like, oh, he's going to get his pawns into position. And instead of like trying to do anything about my queen uh, at all, I just kind of snuck the rook around. And I was like, all right, let's just go for this. And But he was running out of time, and I had a feeling he was just kind of making moves to make moves. Oh, man. All right, let's look at this review. 84.7% accuracy. These are some of the best games I've ever, like played in the past five days. Like, easily the best games. Okay, so, like, it said, like, I had control super early. Like, up in, up until the, the book moves, um, up until the book moves, it's, it's dead even. Um, so, let's see here. Pushing up pawn, they wanted him to trade, it seems like. Yeah. Uh, we would trade back. We'd have double stacked pawns. Not great, um, not ideal, but I think we're we'd be a little bit more developed. But like it, literally in one turn, he could just develop like no problem. So they didn't want uh, they wanted him to trade, and this early castle was really really nice. He was kind of like trapping himself in with this like giant mighty ducks effing V. <laughs> um, my GM called me underrated multiple times. I'm a gamer, Brim. Of course you're good. You're good at everything. I hate it, but I'm. F you, lady. I'm not playing against you. Fuck you. Um, Sorry, uh, okay. you. A break in a segment coming up until about five minutes till round four. Oh shit. Okay, so we're starting like really soon. Okay, so I really like that I could castle early. It really felt like he was just trapping himself here. This, he, I guess they really still wanted him to trade. Yeah, they still really wanted him to trade. Um, so we're getting the hell out of dodge here. This was like. Honestly, this this move right here was probably the biggest mistake because he didn't move this pawn for like for forever, right? And he had like the easiest threat in the world here, like just threatening this. And then like I could have just, you know, we could have just traded or whatever, but he chose to leave this here and he locked his bishop out of the game completely. So I was a plus two from this moment on. Like he just gave me this bishop. So this move doesn't hurt much. It doesn't help either. It wanted me to trade. It really wants you to trade. Um, trade! Trade off equal material. Here's, I guess, another blunder. I had an advantage. Now the game's close to equal. What did it want me to do? This chat loves me hype manning. 
Because I'm so excited. Um, so cute. All right, so it wanted me to develop here. I guess take and then take, and then we could go up here and threaten queen. Uh, they wanted him to go all the way down. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to. They wanted me to threaten winning Playing material. Playing chess okay. with the with all this trading. <laughs> so they, I, I think I eventually moved this pawn up. Again, this queen is just stuck back here. If it wants to go here, fine, but it's it's wasting a turn getting there. It just gives me a big tempo, a big tempo boost, right? Um, and like, what is it gonna do? Come here? Like, I'll just fucking yeet the fuck out of here. And it's this is also protected. Oh shit. Okay, so I have a, I have a rematch with this dude, and then I'm playing someone who is way higher rated than me. I don't know what average cap score. Oh, I guess cap like material. Um, yeah, so this queen is just trapped. Like, this is just an empty play. This is just a this is a move to make a move. That's it. This is a, I don't, I'm not really sure what to do move. And I would know that because I do that all the time. Uh, this was a question mark move, and this uh, was basically the game changer right here. This is the only move to really make. We threaten the queen. We threaten the bishop. Uh, he could take this all he wants, but end of the day, I'm yoinking this for myself no matter what you do. If you come down here, I just take with that or I take with this. And from then on out, it was pretty just everyone made fine moves. Nothing really super egregious. I, I missed mate somewhere along the way there, but uh, like the, the accuracy for, for both of us here on is is like fine. So we are going into our final two games. So I have a rematch here uh, coming up as game one. And then game two, I'm playing someone who is way higher rated than me, who probably knows how to prosciutto his effing bishops. <laughs> and I don't. Um, I thought you said you learned. I mean, like, I know what it is. I just don't know when to do it. All right, we're starting. We're starting. Okay, good luck. Good luck. You got this. Thanks, 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 thanks. No thanks, problem. Thanks. You got this. No problem. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Ideally, we're going one and one here. Like, if we win this next game, we're in pretty good shape. If we lose, it's gonna be tough. This is this is a this is a must win game. Anytime in opening when safe. Okay. Shit. Here we go. All right. Italiano Parmigiano, start, unless he's getting saucy with me. Oh, chat disabled. I can't even tell him it's ready to go. French defense. Okay. Okay, driving his queen in there. Ready for this. I forget what to do on French defense. I just remember it. Are we starting? Yeah, we, we're in. Oh. We're gaming. All right, take, take. Can't really take. By the way, you're the only person in the entire tournament who won all three. Don't tell me that right now. Sorry. I don't need I, that. That's cool, but I'm scared. That's way too much pressure. Dude, I might rip this whole chess tournament and put it on, on YouTube. I feel like clever both in game and commentary. We're vibing. I'm not even effing recording music. Okay. Now we go here, takes, takes. Then what do you do? Hmm. No. Let's threaten. Best case scenario, we get it to hop away. Oh my god, if it went here, that'd be insane. Even here would be insane. Come out here. Threaten, protection. Finally, someone who takes longer than me to take turns. Oh my God, it feels so good. <laughs> it feels good knowing there's there's other people like that out here. Okay, so you are threatening a fork, but you have no protection here. You would need to swing this bishop out, which is what I'm about to do. So let's say here, you still wanna come in. I just take. Right here, bishop here, then we're trading queens. All right. He has to either here or here. 
I'm down to trade queens. I'm down. But even then, push the pawn up. Then what? Just a jumpy. Just a turbo. Just a threat. Look at that chomper. Look at that chomper. Jump. Look at that jumper. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, he went here instead. He wants to trade Bish. Mans wants to trade Bish. Do we trade Bish? We move here. He takes. I take. He still he has to run. Sorry. <laughs> All the rages, I get it. I think pay attention. All right, it's just like football. Chess and football are very similar. When you're up, you just got to run out the clock. Feel me? You just run it a bunch of times. You give it to your pawns. A little three-yard dinker up the middle. That's it. Oh, he just did a hint. Okay. See, what I'm, I, what I'm hoping for, for him is the same thing that happened to me, whereas you're just so overloaded with information on the next 16 moves that you make, that you should make that they just all go in one ear and out the other and you just forget everything they said. But he's probably told them at this point with the queen trade, right? Because if I can see that, if F and GM can see that. Okay, interesting. And they want me to take and they go up. Interesting if true. Hmm, okay. If we take here, take here. We're both down bishops, take here, take here. We're both down knights. They're up a pawn. We take here, take here. That's the end of that. So they're getting a oh, they're getting a pawn for free, essentially. Let's see if they take with horse or queen. I feel like they're probably gonna take with knight. Or no, sorry, queen. Queen, because that's the smart play. Um, let's threaten. And that frees up our lane for the bish. Could even threaten check if we wanted to. Oh, and then we're going to pursue to our effing uh, bishop. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Here, this is attacking the queen. Here, attacks the bish. Uh, I think we just move... We go here, here. Oh, they're looking for a fork. Okay. They're looking for a fork here. So we're going to go. This depends on where we want to go. We go here. That stops that. Stops that. We could also just take. Freeze up the center for our, for our pieces. Yeah. Okay. So now I think we castle. Let's get our rooks together here. Don't be, I don't like not having a bishop, but um, I feel like my knight play is potentially better than their bishop play. So we'll see. I might go for a hint here just to be like, what are we vibing? You know what I mean? But we're also not in, like, we're not in a position where anything's really developed. So I feel like his advice would just be, like, develop the board, you effing loon. Like, do something first to, to let me guide you. Dude's asking effing, I've been away for Destiny for three years. What do I do out here? I'm like, bitch, play the game first and then come back. Play the game a little bit. Do the campaign. We're in the campaign right now. That is interesting, because now I am the big mad at your rook. And that gives me space for my rook. Prosciutto the bishop, do it. He wouldn't do that's really That'd be a really dumb idea. I mean, actually, it wouldn't be, eh, it'd be pretty bad. I mean, it'd be better than losing a rook, but then why wouldn't you just move the rook? Duh. 
Okay, we're gonna swing our rook into action here. And then I think we literally just sack fly our pawn. Hope they take, threaten queen. Okay. Threatening my queen, I see. Take one step over. Threaten uh, the ref and rook again. Oh shit, they prejudoed their effing bishop, dude. They panchettoed their effing bishop. What's the actual word? Dude, they fucking gabagooled the bishop. Oh my god, how could they do that? Actually, they have queen right here, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so they have, uh, we have here, take, 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 take. Mm, they're up. They have, uh, well, wait, did I count that right? Take, or move, take, take, sorry. Move, take, 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 take. Yeah, we'd be down. We'd be down on that one. We'd be big down. Okay, what if, what if night? It's a long, it's a long trek. All right, I'm taking a hint. Hit me, Doc. Hey, okay, so go d5, pawn up to d5. Now, if he takes that with a bishop, you take it with a knight. He can't take that with a pawn because you take his queen. You're pinning his queen. So if he takes with a bishop, you take with a knight. If he takes with a rook at the end, you take with your rook and he can't take with a pawn. If he doesn't do anything, move your queen up one square to g4. You're gonna be hitting two of his pawns, the one on c4 and the one on e6. If he moves his queen away, then you want to take his pawn with your pawn and attack his weak pawns. Watch his bishop. Make sure you're not blundering your queen and watch your clock, okay? Got it. I went, right? It's not my turn. Okay, it's his turn. Okay. I was like, I already went. I already went. Good to know. Man, I really thought that the the move the knight four times strat would is, was really going to uh was really going to pop off for us. Um, okay. They said if he does nothing, uh, oh God, what did he say? Here, take. Oh, we wanted to attack the pawn, I believe, right? They want to attack the pawn. Or was it move up first? Hmm. Okay. Really want to get my knight into play again. Bishop's trapped. Queen, not super trapped. Rook is pretty free. No, we're covered. Bishop can't do shit over here. Not unless he moves this. But we'll yoink this. And then this thing is effing pinned again. So, okay. Take. Take, he, he, let's say he, that. Take, threaten, and if he moves that down, we're in trouble. Okay, never mind. We just have to get out, get in, get out. Uh, this guy has to stay here to protect, because otherwise queen can come here, boom, and we're pretty boned. I'm really looking for another kiss of death here, but not with this queen there. Okay, still trapped. Um, I think we're gonna go here, and now the pawn is pinned, so he's protecting this. Okay. And and don't 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 come back here we block i mean he's got double coverage i really don't want to trap my dude back there but he's just gonna get he's gonna get free pawns he's gonna get attack on this what if we swing here and start trying to force this pawn out of the way oh my god just fucking through Fuck! Good!
damn it! Oh my god, I hate myself. Come on, you got, it's okay. It's not the end. You still got pieces on the board, it's not the end. You got this. Sit back down. Sit back down, you're okay. Regain, regain. You got this. It's okay. Well, I always notice it right as... You're fine, shake it off. Right as I fucking do it. Yep. Shake it off, play the rest of the game, learn from it afterwards. Uh, I learned that I'm stupid. Stop it. Uh, I'm the only one who's won. Up until now. now I'm gonna lose. That doesn't, that's not necessarily true. Fuck you. Oh my god, I'm big mad. Oh, bishop. Okay. Oh. This dude's chat is probably railing me right now. He wants my horse. Any way to save this. Uh, he takes my bishop. He still wants the horse. Yeah, I think we have to trade something. Probably should move that up. Waste a turn. Looks like we're both throwing today, gentlemen. Can't move myself into check. Lol. Oh, why didn't I just take? Oh, I threw it away. I threw it away. I'm so fucking mad, dude. I literally just threw the game away in an instant. One blunder. Oh, but okay. it was the one that lost me the game. Yes, it's okay. Those will happen. Uh, oh, I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. I All right, guys, it happens. What, your 10th game of chess? It happens. I'm the dumbest man. Stop! <laughs> Stop! You're a good You're good. Man. You uh, you have won all Everybody of the games knows. thus far. The Rich. one thing I'll say, and I Can think I this is the issue. Come here. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, no, sorry, my wife's talking to the dog. Oh. Let me, uh, I, okay, I got the chat out. Let me see here. So taking the queen would have been a good idea there because if you look, you basically completely ruin black's pawn structure. Right. So I think where this comes from is I think you, you hesitate to trade pieces and you really should, I mean, I told you this at the beginning, like you yeah. shouldn't trade if there's no reason to, but at the same time, if you're like, find yourself thinking for a long time, just simplifying the position is a pretty good idea. Okay. And anytime your opponent has a bishop, you have to figure out which squares, which color squares it controls. It sounds like a primitive piece of advice, but it actually works. Yeah. Anytime your queen is on that color square, you're automatically checking to make sure that there's no bishop that can take that queen. It's just like, it has to be automatic, but you were playing great. I mean, yeah, I should have, like, I was just overthinking game. it, and I really just wanted my queen to stick around, but I just, I should have just traded it. It's or, really or tempting to trade. It is, it is, and and if you're inclined not to trade, don't be afraid to make those retreating moves. Just drop the queen back, totally fine. Um, one or two retreating moves here or there keeps the time pressure on him, uh, and, you know, yeah. you, every other move was, was great in this game, so it, the chess is brutal like that. <sighs> It's it's brutal, Sorry. but uh, Julie, that was incredible. You <laughs> trapped his queen. Do you re did you realize that you trapped his? You actually trapped his queen. No, like, honestly, the queen had no I, legal squares. Honestly, I didn't realize I trapped it, and I was just trying to play logical moves to kick the queen away. And I didn't realize yeah, I mean, it was that's... trapped. <laughs> you succeeded very nicely. That <laughs> was Damn. insane. Oh man, 
I, I, I just, I second guess myself with the trades. This chess is just a game of second guessing. No, like I played that, I played that really well up until that point. And then I just literally shit my pants on stream. So, man. All right, next time. It's okay. Next time anything like that happens, we we go. See, I was playing. I was playing. Don't come in. I'm naked. When I should have been playing. Do what you want. Did apprentice lose hers or win hers? No, she won. Just a doggy. Little doggy. Just a just a smush. Got this one in the bag, dude. I'm fighting someone who's sixteen hundred. Okay. It's okay. Let me just double check this number down here. Eight hundred and twenty-nine. Doesn't matter. That's a smidge low. I'm not going into master vault class with that shit. Okay. If this guy gobble ghouls his effing bishop, I'm running out the door. I'm just waiting for like b5, bishop b7. I'm just like, I'm out. If they do just forfeit. Like two moves in, just like it's over. Oh boy, here we go. Italiano Parmigiano started out. Oh god, they're playing so fast. They're playing so fast. I can't stop it. Oh, I see what they're doing here. Yeah, I'm just gonna co just copy them. When in doubt, just effing copy them. See, we have reached the point of the game where I'm not really sure what to do. This is just like a jumble of pieces and I have no idea what's going on. I'm so fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this dude does not like bishops. I. He just knows that I'm going to do it. Now, what do I even do? This is just a blob of pieces. Here, take, 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 take. Take. <sighs> um, oh shit. Okay. What's coming? Here, here. Just take here. There's no more bishops. I don't have to worry about that. Here, take. Here, can't go there. Here doesn't really do anything, just blocks in. You take, I trade queens. Okay, so we're not doing that. Um, let's get like a rook out here or something. Trade a dooski. What happens here? Covered. Here. Just take. Uh, if I go here, you gotta deal with me. Um, and we may have a play over here. Okay, Alex has just blundered. Alex has just made a huge blunder. Knight takes c7 and one is winning. But will he see it? takes and then you actually just fork the rook and the queen he's seen it oh my god we are winning on this board this is insane if he can pull out a draw all he needs is to pull out a draw um what if you come here not much um oh you're going for here right bishop's right here so let's say I take, uh, you just completely ignore me. No, I don't think you would. You go here, um, then I'm going. I mean, I would go here. Here, nothing, here, nothing, here, nothing. 
here's what I'm worried about because they come in. I can't take. I'd have to go here. They get that. All right, let's do this. That seems pretty big brain to me. I don't know. Unless they come right here. No, but then I'd still take. Will they just take pawn? So what if we do this? Watch, I just get checkmated. <laughs> Queen has to move here. So I keep protection on this. So I get you to take here. Queen moves here. I go here. Queen does something. I can move up here. Check. Push the pawn. Oh, that's my favorite Tetris song. Oh, they got a hint. Shit. I thought I had him. This next turn is a grandmaster turn right here. All I want to hear is... Uh, yeah, he's got you pretty on the ropes. Uh, you might want to concede. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm going to tear my hair out. Yeah, she chose a, a winning moment. Oh, knight takes e6. Oh, my God, this is winning. Knight takes e6. Knight takes e6. I think he's going to take the rook, though, and probably going to allow this, which is going to be nasty. Take on e6. Actually, a call would be great here. A call would be great. He see. Oh, my God, he plays it. What is... He is just mad, and he is, he is just taking it all out on this guy. Oh my god. Now, knight f3 check. You want to take on f3. That's the hard part. Oh my god. This is a big... This would be, like, the most insane result of all time. Oh, oh god. Okay. Um, well, we're going to yoink you. Okay. And then we're going to hit you with... Here's my concern. Here... Well, they couldn't take Rook, right? They come here. I mean, right now, whatever I do, the, I I get, uh, I I get a windmill right here because we go here. He's got to move his dude somewhere. We can just scoot right back if we need to. Um, they come here. We're in check. Move over. They got to cram in here, but I would just take. Um, unless they protect it somehow. I, you know, let's go hint. Coach. Night up. Hey, okay, so take the pawn on d5 with check. Take it with your okay. queen. That's what I thought. If he if he moves his king, okay, now go c3, pawn c3. Pawn c3. C3, your okay. c pawn, your bishop's pawn up, up to c3. Now, here's the plan. You want to do two things. You want to go h3 at some point, and you want to stack your rooks on the e file. Trade queens if possible. Also notice that b7 is hanging. Your two priorities, go h3 when possible, watch your queen, and stack your rooks on the e file, okay? Got it. If possible, trade queens. Don't Got panic. It. You can go. Okay. At some point, we need to do this. So let's do it now. Okay, I'm glad that was the right move. That's what I was feeling. This, I have no effing idea. This is probably to protect uh, this kind of angle, have pawns protect each other. Okay. All right, what are they doing? Here. Okay. I'm gonna stack rooks. Okay. I don't think anything changes here. I feel like he's getting re ready for an assault. Rook's protected. Okay. Stack. Okay. Can't move rooks. Um, I think we have a fork right here because queen's no longer protecting. So I think we're gaining a piece here and we're off, off color. So queen could, could move back out. That changes nothing, right? Can't take, can't take. Okay. Rook backed up. Let's tell you what we do here. Rook takes. 
I take, queen takes, that gives us nothing. What if we get here, we're on color, we're on color, and next turn we could threaten something. Just being wary of that horse. I kind of want to push it. It would block all my shit here. All right, let's move over one. And that way we have three attackers to their two. And I lose the game. I don't know how, but I just do. Oh, I'm forked. Shit. I didn't see that. I was only worried about this, and I didn't fucking see that the dude was pinned. Do we take with king, or do we take with rook? Okay, well, we have a lot more pawns. Could maybe some make something happen with pawns. I think we take with rook. I'm worried about queen. Queen shit. All right, they're starting the double stack here. I think we have to, we have to move back here. I'm worried about it getting trapped. I think we come here, protect the rook. Oh no, I'm fucking mate. No, I'm not. Never mind. This dude has the right idea, getting the little the little tuck in there. I probably should move my king over, but I feel like that's a waste of a move. Go figure a potentially game-saving move is a waste of a move. Okay, if we move rook down. Um, they try to attack. Because if we don't move rook down, they come here. I have to run. Or I come here. Then they just take. They can, I don't know. They could do some rook crap. I don't know, dude. I'm losing it. What's to stop them from taking? Oh, well, okay. Here, you want to trade? Is it time to trade? I would like to trade. Where else can you go? You could take my rook, but I'd take you. Okay. Man, I wish these dudes were the other way around. I think we try to push a pawn or something. Hang on. Here... Take, take. I want this queen. And I saith unto thee, do it you won't. You could always just go right here. <laughs> this is this is non this is non-committal. This is contract free. <laughs> he doth decree. No balls. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Um, all right. Pushing a pawn up does nothing. I think we push this one. Oh, my God. I feel like we're so close. All right. How about this? Check. Now what are you going to do? Now you got to trade. Ship G5. Good move. Queen E4 check found. <laughs> all right. Now he's just gonna not lose, and Julie has to flag the, the living daylights out of him. Balls by force. What's up, Grumpo? Oh, can you feed Brim? Yeah, I will. He's being a Grumpo. I kinda wanna get my king to safety. So we're going to lose one of these. He's going to push here. Hmm.
we push more pawns. No, I feel like we should get our king in there. Can't go there. Could go there. Can't take this. When when can he take this? I don't think he can with the rook here. He could trade. He might do that. It's three pawns to two. But I feel like I would have a head start getting to their pawns. Okay. Dude, getting the time back on your clock when you make a move. So nice. Interesting. Just trying to lock me out. I think you realize he can trade. Maybe not. What's better? Move here. And he just goes there. Then move here. No, we want to take. We don't want to have him have any pawns. Hmm. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. I'm going to lose on time. They have so much more time than I do. I won't feel the worst about it, but it will make me sad. I have to keep escorting my rook. If I don't, then we have trouble right here in River City. Okay, move the rook back. King d5, look at him. Look at him go. King e6. Oh my god, he's going to win after king e6. King e6. Oh my god, I can't watch this. King e6, and the game is over. And he plays it. Oh, my God. No. Capital P stands for pool. Don't yell at me. I know you're, I know you're just screaming at me, being like, you have a move right here. I just don't. Just don't. Just encouraging thoughts only, please. Can't move there. Can't move there. Has to go there. Um, yeah, so we escort one more time, I believe, so that they can't take. Or, here's another option. We go here, force the rook away, but then we're just left with a knight and a rook, and I don't know if that can win, especially in time. And I know I'm running out of time. I just don't know which one's which one's better. Well, I guess if we go here, they go here. They take, I take, he moves somewhere. Yo. They can't get off this line. Hang on, doggy. Hang on. Hang on. No, Julie, don't take that. And she wants to go G5. She wants that last chance. I can see what she's doing. She's trying to promote the pawn. G4. Oh, my God. G4, Julie. Come on. Push your damn pawn. Let's go. Pray, pray, pray right now. Oh, my God. He's he's completely winning. King D7. Oh, my God. Fitzy. Oh, I see. He's knight of five. H3, it's, will he find a way to win though? No, it does, it unfortunately does not, but, and he of course will find it. it. Work. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It doesn't work. Knight G3 is very important here. Now it's possible that he gets caught up with this pawn. Okay, now Dado has to find King D7, and then C8 equals queen. He's down to 10 seconds. He's down to nine seconds. 93 blunders. Oh my God. Water. H2. Come on. Now dad has to make a draw. Come on.
Come on, KT7, please make a move. This is good too. Oh my goodness. Queen, now you still have to win. You still have to win. Make a queen. Oh my god, this is insane. Okay, king b8, king b8. Oh my god. Oh, and queen d5 wins the knight. She can win the knight, and she does. Make a queen. Make a queen, Dado. Make a queen. Yes, yes. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh my god. Current nickname. He is not going to lose this game as long as he doesn't lose it on time. Julie is going to win. This is absolute insanity. I am literally speechless. I've never seen anything like this. All Dado has to do is not blunder. Oh, it's mate. It's mate on H6. It's mate. It's mate in one. Okay, you can do this too. You can... Oh, he's trying to make it so he doesn't have a move. I have to move my king back. Okay, hang on. I go here, he goes here. Here, can't take, can't go here, can't go here, can't go here. This is, has to be mate. You can even stalemate, it doesn't matter. You can literally stand, just don't lose on time. Oh, what is he doing? He's gonna, okay, just take the damn pawn and don't give me a heart attack. It, I don't care, stalemate, just do not lose on time. Check and mate. If he loses on time right now, I'm, I'm like leaving. The, okay, you can also bring, get the king out and go rookie six, rookie eight. Julie has mated. King C8, he sees it. He's just going to get the king out, evacuate it, go rook t6. Rook t6, rook d8, come on. Come on, rook t6, rook d8. I mean, this is so elementary. Just, just sit for a second and think. Rook t6, yes! We're going to win 2-0. Oh my god. He beats Alex. What is that? Okay, rook d8, rook d8, mate! Mate, 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 mate. This is, has to be mate. Oh my god, and we win the whole thing. Oh my god. Yeah! I'm sorry, let's see those numbers again. Oh, what was the number between your name and his name? And you know, I'm so upset. You put it down! It's a dog. I'm excited too. Yay! We're excited. We love you. Yeah! Let's go, dude! Let's fucking go! Does that mean you guys won? I don't fucking know, dude. I'm pretty sure you won. If if she if she oh, won, guys. then I think um, we win. Didn't you say? Oh wait. Did you win? You... Hey guys, sorry to interrupt here. Uh, I don't first, know. Congratulations. Oh. We won. Uh, yes, yes, you guys won. Yes. Yeah, all oh, you, you guys are win? like the wait. absolute dream team. Oh, <laughs> Unbelievable. <God. laughs> how did you how did you do that? Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I pulled that last game through. Oh my god. That last Dude, H1. Same. If you I just... beat Alex, you just outplayed him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Thanks. 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 Not Thanks, giving up. Dokey. Never give up. I was honestly so lost. Fitzy was playing so well. He was playing incredibly. I mean, just every move. <sighs> and I was getting more and more dejected. I was like, no, there's no chance now. And then when you traded bishops, I was like, this is the last yeah. of the past pawn. But actually, I think he could have blocked it by moving a different knight move. I was waiting for him to right, say, dude, to as soon as you traded yeah. bishops, I nut. <laughs> that to say hello me. and congratulations to the winners of the Chess AI, AI Showdown presented by Capital One. Team Dado, congratulations on the win. Dado, by far you had the most wholesome moments on Twitch here today. <laughs> Tell us about that support system you had there for every dub, man. You know, I... Uh... <laughs> All right. That was my wife cackling in the background. <laughs> the hints, the GM support line was literally like looking at the analysis screen at the end of every game. And instead of me being like, oh, that's what I should have done. It was just happening in real time. Although there were a couple of times where it was very stressful, where it felt like 10 instructions were coming out all at the same time. 
and I felt like I was like, okay, I got one of them and I'm out. So it was just, it was a test of like trying to draw on the board and memorize what was being said at the same time. Um, but what really did it for me was like kind of reassuring me that I was making the right moves and the right plays um, at the time, which was really, really helpful. Yep. Uh, you mentioned the coaching, uh, Dotto. So first of all, congratulations. And again, the support system uh, was was a lot of fun to watch. I'm glad the dog got some food. That's good that, that yeah, he, so he nice. definitely he was hungry. Um, yeah. But uh, Don, you over to you, man. We were we were singing your praises today because it wasn't wasn't just the advice you were giving. It was the balance you had between the micro moments, the critical tactic on the board, but also don't forget to play H3. Don't forget to think about this idea, right? What was your approach as a coach? Were you were you sitting there prepared for exactly the type of advice you were going to give them? And and how much did you enjoy this format of helping to contribute to a game that wasn't your own? Well, I love the format. And first of all, I had the easiest job in the world because I had the greatest team in the world. Um, I don't know how they were able to take in the sort of completely unorganized word salad uh, once a game in between the <laughs> rounds, but somehow both of them did. And just a massive shout out to Apprentice and Dado. I mean, I, I had... I was I had so much fun. I'm I'm at a loss for words, but yeah, basically, uh, when I was strategizing before uh, before the game started, I wanted to find that balance where I decided that if there was a very specific pathway to follow that was leading to a winning position, I would emphasize dictating the moves, right? Because I I would trust uh, Dado or, or or Julie to to convert. On the other hand, between the games and if there was a position where there wasn't like a very clear path. Uh, my goal was to prioritize long-term planning and to kind of tell them uh, what I would do, like doubling rooks or making some luft or giving more general pieces of advice. And I think it worked out really well. But again, none of that would have been possible yep. without the incredibly accurate and resilient play that we saw game after game. Also, real quick, uh, awesome I wasn't there. sure if you meant support system via the coaching or my wife or my <laughs> chat. I, your um, wife. I just want to clarify, uh, my chat's awesome and I love my wife. Thanks, Danielle, for supporting me. <laughs> that's awesome there apprentice julie you was a uh, big dog would because a big dog could with three in a row uh, <laughs> like that so how did that feel to be a uh, top dog like that taking down three what really worked for you it felt incredible i mean honestly um narditsky's advice really really helped i think that when i was in a pinch and i just needed to hear confirmation a lot of times when i'm playing chess i have my ideas and there's so many different lines that i could go with but I just need a confirmation on certain lines. And it really helped me uh, guide and lead the way for those games. Uh, Julie, Julie you, you, oh, oh, go ahead. Oh, we're all fans of Julie here because like Julie went on a great run of that 3-0 yes, win. Did. I just have a quick question. I mean, I, I, I kind of mentioned a tweet that you had how, you know, the love of chess has, you know, streaming has actually brought back your love of chess. Can you expand that a little bit for our audience? Oh, of course. Yeah, I used to play chess when I was really young. It was just a huge pillar of my childhood. And I actually quit for five or six years and streaming has brought that back to me. And it seems like a piece of my life was missing, like something I had forgotten about has been brought back to me. So it's absolutely incredible. And the chess community on Twitch has been so welcoming and encouraging and it's just a great experience overall. Uh, amaz amazing, Julian. Your, your streams are a ton of fun to watch. You didn't need a lifeline in that game, too, where you, you ran away with it and ended up checkmating Mr. Lama in the middle of the board. I, I'm going to say right here, as the guy who at, at the guy at the start of the show who said, I thought Mr. Lama was the best player in the field, and I actually picked his team to win, this is your chance to say, like, Danny, you were totally wrong, and obviously <laughs> I, I underestimated who the best player in the field was today. So way to go. And, and how did that second game feel where you just took, took him apart? It felt great, honestly. I mean, I, Lam and I are friends, so it feels, it feels bad oh. to say that, but we he has beat me a lot in chess, and it, it does feel good to finally have that 1-1, one, one, especially with that opening. The orthno, the orthno shop gambit, or the opening, that yeah. one ruins me with my French defense every single time, so it felt good to trap his queen to get that dub. Yeah. All Very right, nice. well... Thank you all so much for joining me, and congratulations to Team Dotto for taking the dub here in the Thank Chess you. A Showdown presented Thank by Capital One. Thank enjoy you. the wins, and enjoy your Doritos as well. Y'all have a good one. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm going to have you stay in here for a minute. Uh, yeah. Mark still wants to talk to you after uh, after we wrap up. Copy that. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Sorry, just talking with Twitch. Shut the Hey, I'm so dumb. I'm the dumbest person. No, no, no. I don't want to hurt me. I'm hey, so guys. smart. I took the whole thing home. Hey. Hey. Uh, Hello. So, before you guys leave, I'm going to be DMing you guys on Discord a um, Google form for you guys to fill out. It is for the Doritos prizing that you guys okay. wanted. All right, guys. Have a, have, a good, uh, have a good rest of your night. Take care. Yeah, have have a good night. All right. Take bye. Care. Bye. Won. We won, dude. <laughs> we fucking won the whole thing. I had no doubts. I'm getting so many Doritos. Let me tell <laughs> you how many. Supply. The were... Doritos brand will award six total 40 count boxes of Doritos every two months for a full calendar year. So it turns out the wording on that on that prize form was not great. I thought I was getting six 40 count boxes every two months. In reality, uh, I'm getting six boxes over the entire year. It's six total 40 count boxes over the course of the year. The wording was a little off, but I really don't mind that I'm not going to have over a thousand bags of Doritos coming in my house you know this is i don't even know if i'm gonna get through this in two months i probably will let's be honest no 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 we're no. literally going to have doritos coming out of our ass <laughs> oh Ryan, my god like dude <laughs> they're like wholesome moments and you're like with my chess instructor you're right I, okay so i didn't <laughs> know if they meant support system as in my my coach. They sound wholesome. That's true. That's my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let's take a look at this game. Let's take a look at this game. 90, 89% accuracy. Is there a way to see history? 86, 77, 68 was our lowest. 82, I fucking blew this one. And then 80, this is our best game of the night when we needed it. Look at the accuracy of all these other games that I was that I was playing. 84 was not bad. 57, 62, 57, 62, 79. Like, all right, so let's take a look at this final game here. So I went from just like Omega winning to something happened, and then I went back to Omega winning. So let's see here. Book, 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 book. Fanchetto, that's what it is. So that's when you, that's when you move the bishop like here or here. So um, to keep, to, to just dominate this lane right here, because it's the longest lane. So. Yeah. Prejudo, feng shui, prejetto, whatever you want to call it. Feng shui. Feng shui. Isn't it? Fu oh, it's feng, feng shui. Feng shui. Yeah. Okay. So pretty standard opening. Next key move, just pretty basic stuff here. Okay. So I found the only good move here. So they moved. So this was after the GM play. So this is where the hint was. And I ended up making the best move that I possibly could have made, which is very nice in my heart. Um, just a doggy. I'll pick your nose, Brim. So that was really nice. Because um, we can just take, take, and, you know, effing all that stuff. But they didn't even do that. They didn't even take. And then I effing just completely blundered here. Missed a chance to connect rooks. What do they want me to do? Interesting. Okay. Dude, when you don't connect your rooks, that's a moray. This leads to losing material. So I think this is where we came up here. Um, yeah, so this move right here allowed me to start doing the fork. And this is where I kind of took over, I feel like. Because um, we came here, free piece. This allows a fork. We came here, 
boom. And then maybe this is where he got the, no, I don't think he got the hint here. Um, take and uh, from here on standard. And then I massively blunder apparently. This lets them fork my pieces. I guess they missed. Oh no, it was right here. It's the only good move. And then from then on out, pretty accurate stuff. I just really wanted pa pause. Oh god, it's got mind of its own. Okay. Um, I really, really wanted because last time, as you all saw, I had fuck up of the night when I just threw my effing queen away, right? Because I'm a dumb. And so what I wanted to do this time was like coach reassured me that uh, he was, he was like, look, if you got to trade those Queens away, like, don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid to just trade away the Queens. And I didn't do that last time. So I was like this time, let's get ourselves in a position where I can actually do it. And Say so you're dumb this is where I, more time. I'm smart. That's and great. attractive. The doggy. Um, okay. so here's where I basically was like, okay, look, let's cause they were they were doing some some shit here, and I was like, I'm not getting checkmated to some stuff that I'm not paying attention to, so let's trade queens. And eventually I got to a spot where like I I, I essentially forced their hand. Um, I think, yeah, right there. And then the the pawn game. My pawn game's apparently uh, not the most thrilling, but it was enough. Here, I want to show the last move, the the move that I think sealed the deal here. Um, see, it says this is one of the best moves. Where where were they? Okay, I guess they couldn't go here or here. Okay, so maybe. Okay, so maybe that wasn't a blunder. Maybe that was just like, that's the only move you can make. Okay, I thought they messed this up. Because I was like, oh, if you don't, you know, like, if you don't protect this, I'm I'm coming to yoink. But they had to go this way, I guess, to avoid. Check. Take, take, take. And then here I was just kind of worried of, like, stalemating. So I made sure to keep the, the lane open to get my king out of there. Of course, there was a faster route, right? What's the fastest route? Okay. So they can't go there and 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 they can go there. And then I just swing in the What am I checking okay, I gotta get better with this. This is my this is my weakness right here. This is my weakness. So yeah, I mean I still like got there eventually. So yeah, I gotta do some some end game stuff, but like love seeing like only one mistake, only one blunder. Those games have been so rare for me. So yeah, you know, I was this right here, blunder of the day, literally just not even paying attention, yoinked. In reality, I should have just traded. That's all I should have done right there. Traded, keep the game even, don't psych myself out, don't try to, you know, get get fancy with it. Like if this is what's going to make me more comfortable and actually be able to make moves like more comfortably during the rest of the game, then I should just do it. That's why I really wanted to trade queens here is because I figured they probably had a better idea of how to checkmate me than I did them. Like that's not my strong, that's not my strong suit. So instead I just wanted to get rid of their power because I know, like I know how this end game works. I know how this works a lot more than this works. Can you use the arrow key? Oh, dude, that's so much more convenient. Queen endgames are annoying AF. I just, like, as you guys saw, my checkmate skills are not very good, or at least very slow. Whereas with the rook endgame and the pawns, I knew I had a big advantage with the pawns, and I'd eventually be able to get one of them over there. Um, and so, like, I'm a lot more comfortable, like, doing this kind of stuff uh, than I am you know, duking it out with queens. And I do wonder how different the game would have been if they decided to take here. Actually, it wouldn't be literally different at all because the piece would be right there. Never mind, shut up. Um, 
Had to check there. Okay. But man, I I cannot believe that we won. I can't believe it.